In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a desktop web folder. This will allow you to access your server files right from your desktop using Windows. So you can treat it as a window, drag and drop, delete from your desktop computer instead of having to sign in by FTP, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to my computer. Now what you want to do from here is map a network drive. Now what you want to do is come down here to where it says connect a website that you can use to store your documents and pictures. So click on that and then click next. You want to choose a custom network location. Click next again. And here you can put the address to your domain. Now right at the end of it here put colon 2077. That'll tell it what port it needs to connect to. Now click next and then you get a sign in screen. So what you need to do here is have your login credentials for your web host. You just key them in here and click remember my password here. I'll just click OK. Now just click next because we're all set up. And it says you successfully created a network location. Shortcut has been placed in my computer and open the network location when I click finish. Now uncheck that. Let's just go back and have a look at my computer. Okay, and as you see down at the bottom here is the one we just set up. So let's click on that. Okay, and here is our username and password. We clicked remember my password, so we can just click OK. And it brings up our folders for us that are on our site. Now depending on where your web folders are, in a lot of cute computers, it's in public underscore HTML. So if we right click and do explore, it brings up the list of folders that, and files that we have inside there. Now if we want to actually save something on our computer, instead of using FTP, we can just drag a file right into here, just like we do on our own Windows computer. If we're dragging from one folder to another, we just got to grab a hold of it and drag it in here. Same thing, we can use a copy command, so we can do a copy, and then we can copy this into our local folder if we want as well. So that's how you can create a network location that you can use on your desktop.